What is up, my fellow meatball fanatics? Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Meatballs SOS. Um, this is just a PSA rant, whatever. Uh, forgive me for the video quality. I'm in my truck right now. We are rained out, um, so I'm sitting here in lighting. I don't know what's better. I think this is better lighting. So, I'm sure you guys have all seen the events going on, everything that's been happening. Um, if it's got you worried, it should. You know, not to not to follow uh, fake news and the media and all them guys, but they do have a, the concerns of our southern border is legit. I mean, everybody should be alarmed at what just happened. Um, Israel had a wall; they broke through it. Um, there's videos of them blowing up sections of wall to get to uh, their targets. There's videos of them paragliding over the wall to get to their target undetected by radar um what what just happened was a huge u.s israeli military intelligence uh failure um now be it as it may uh did they just drop the ball i i don't know and israel's cyber intelligence is like top notch so that's it's absolutely insane that this is even happening but what i find what i find concerning most concerning are kind of a series of events here that have taken place. A few days ago we had the national FEMA broadcast. Okay. They wanted to be able to reach out to us, which a lot of people are saying this is something that Obama gave in a speech a long time ago that they were going to do this, which okay, but why would Obama talk about that? I mean, it's just, we've always had a national emergency broadcast uh, ever since the Cold War. I mean, we've always had something. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is like just a new thing and it's all coincidence, but there was an article yesterday, and I'll, I'm going to try to post a link to some of these things, so this way, you know, you guys can see uh, I'm not just pulling crap out of my butt. Um, it's legit. The United States is going to begin testing nuclear bombs uh, underground again. They haven't done it since 92. They're going to start in Nevada. Uh, and I find this kind of alarming coming off the cusp from the heels of everything that's been going on. I mean, you have conflicts everywhere. You have conflicts in uh, Armenia with uh, Azerbaijan and uh, you know, and, and you have the conflict getting ready in, in Serbia and Kosovo. Um, you have the Ukraine conflict. You got the Israeli war. Um, which, by the way, the Ukraine thing is still a conflict. It's not a war. Uh a lot of people get confused. Just like us, we haven't been to war since World War II. We've been in conflicts, but not war. Uh, the first invasion force in, in, for the Russians was that Z, that notorious Z. Now we know what the Z meant. That Z was storm. Was just a number. It was just a letter that they put. Uh, storm Group Z, and Z is all the undesirables, all your. Uh, they were emptying out prisons long before it was even a thing. We just got caught up to what they were up to, by the way. So all them, all them soldiers, if you want to call them that, uh, that went over and died already uh, in Ukraine in the meat grinder. Um, they weren't even act. They weren't real like career soldiers or people who were in the army and the Russian army that long. They were just drafted. Uh, they were you know put through training for a couple weeks and then sent out to Ukraine. They were just cannon fodder, the first of it. Um, so, where am I going with all this is just keep your heads on a swivel. Um, Al Jazeera had posted a video of the leader or one of the leaders of Hamas or something like that uh, calling for some kind of jihad uh, globally. And I confirmed it this morning. Um, all you do is just go to Al Jazeera's YouTube page, and uh, you can just start. You can see the comment section. You translate everything to English. You copy and paste some of the stuff that they're saying, um, or if you put the captions on, if, you, if you're good at it, uh, take a screenshot, and then you can just pull the text out of the screenshot and just reverse translate it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's legit, guys. So, there's supposedly Friday, there's supposed to be maybe something. I know today there's supposed to be a national 
uh, protest or raid. They, I, I don't, I forget what the technical uh, terms that they're using at universities. So just be, keep your heads on a swivel. Uh, for those of you in the prepper community, just be prepared. Be prepared. I don't know what's coming. Nobody knows what's coming. Um, all I know is that you know this is a very different world that we're in nowadays, and uh, we have conflicts happening everywhere now, all over the place, and um, it's it's getting scarier. It's getting much scarier out there. Um, if you're somebody of the religious uh, mindset or belief, you know this is this could be seen as a holy war. I I see it as a holy war. Um, but that's just my my opinion, my belief. Um, I believe that uh, some of what we're witnessing is is biblical uh, to to a certain degree. Um, everything so far that I've seen, not just the wars, uh, the floodings, the mass floodings around the world, um, the earthquakes. So I uh, I don't know I don't know, guys. But as a proper just uh, continue to do what you're doing. Um, make sure you guys are squared away. Food and water, medicine, the whole nine yards. Because I've said it before, saddle up. It's going to be a long ride. A long, bumpy ride. And this, we're far from over. This is this is far from over. Um, and the United States involvement in something is coming. It's around the corner. That's for sure. So... Happy Thursday. Stay safe.